the king of the wasteland. Well, good morning, good morning world. It is another beautiful sunny day back here at the radios. I'm here at the... Huh, I don't actually know where I am. I should have checked that. Anyway, I was chasing after that oddball with the goofball on the tennis ball. And I found him dead. Yeah. Like everyone. Like everyone ever. So I'm gonna be scanning this area, I guess, and find out where and what to do next. Scan, scan, scan. These were nothing, apparently. Discrepancy detected. Rizzo's company policy clearly states that all proprietary mascots must exhibit signs of physical life. Ah. Ooh. Puncture wounds near his collarbone. I'm having trouble finding an exit wound. Excellent observation, Inspector. Have you deduced a possible cause of death? Uh, firearms. Not a conventional weapon either. Unusually small entry wounds indicate exotic weaponry. Closest approximations are 1. Incident involving a game of darts. 2. The Needler. Ooh. The Needler, eh? Yes, Inspector. The Needler. A spoke handgun carried and wielded by Halcyon Helen. Famously deployed by Halcyon Helen in Terror on Monarch. This weapon was responsible for executing the Chief of the Savages, played by Spencer Woolridge. Oh, really? Um, Amplifier, before we go, do you think he's... Do you think he'd miss his outfit? This unit is incapable of providing ethical advice. This unit is also incapable of answering rhetorical questions. Uh, all right. I'll take his things then. It's uh, potential evidence, yeah? Oh. Armored toss ball uniform. Well, my armor is already pretty damn good. Ooh. It's not that great. Ah, uh, the other thing. That thing. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Uh, I know. This empty bottle of spirits does not belong to any known corporate brand. <gasps> Suspicious residue detected. Oh. High concentration of ethanol. Someone's brewing moonshine with antiseptics. Excellent deduction, Inspector. Yay! Imbibing of unauthorized beverages is strictly prohibited under Rizzo's company law. Ingredients include antiseptic alcohol, sucrose, and unidentifiable miscellaneous organic material. Closest match. Counterfeit spirits available at the Piraeus spaceport. Oh. Oh, God damn it! I have to go back. Find Bertie. Hmm. Ah, there's people right outside. I don't want to get caught stealing. Stealing. Definitely not stealing. Wish I had a telescope like this back in the veil. Wish I had a telescope like this back in the veil. Uh, right. Of course, the company probably would have scrapped it for parts. Oh, hello. Ah, balls. I don't even know what that is. So I'm just going back to the intercom. Is that it? Another shaft. That's a wound. Oh, damn it. Fine. Is 
I hate those leeches. How about I get one of those? Alright, well, I didn't get to explore any more of this Patheon. This area. Probably come back later. It's quite a trek back. Should I just... Yeah, I just... It's a long walk. There's nothing interesting. Except for the sights. And low time. Pretty sure I saved some time. There we go. What's this? Yep. I'm alone! Ha ha ha! I'm not being stalked. <laughs> yeah! For once, I'm all alone. Oh, wait. What the hell? Alright. Well, this is weird. Oh, spaceport. Of course. Hello, Cedric. Inspector, good to see you. Let me just grant you access and. You better. Welcome to the Piraeus spaceport. That was easy. Alright, so checking out the spaceport and Black Hole Bertie. He has the needler, I'm taking it from him. Even if it's by force. Just enjoying the sights. No biggie. It's beautiful up here. Whew. Long trip, actually. And more loading. I don't like the way they're oh. eyeing us, Captain. Wait, who? Mysterious assailants. Oh, yeah, I get what you mean. Good up, everybody. Um, this could get bad. Hey, you! We've been looking for you, and by we, I mean Slug. Uh, been real busy sniffing around Eridanos for clues, haven't you, Inspector? See, Slug Light Underground don't like that much. He's trying so hard. It's actually kind of sad. Should have kept your nose where it belonged, Inspector. Um. Slug sick of all your meddling in their affairs. Our affairs, I mean. We're... Draw, you damn breadworm! Draw! Uh, you really... You really want to fight? You know, fella, I'm an inspector. Stick my nose where it doesn't belong is my job. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Well, you ain't gonna stick that nose anywhere ever again. Aren't you a grumpy fellow, aren't you? Huh. Hold on. You're saying Slug asked me to investigate and now it wants me dead? Uh, quick everyone, get him! Oh god damn it. Uh, now it. Not that one. This one. Yeah! Um. <laughs> I love this gun. Oh, you want some? Oh, what? Gomu Gomu no rocket punch. Impressive. Wait, how many? Okay, two feet. Yeah, okay. He blew two pieces. Hit note. Good job, alright. 400... Uh, 40,000, I mean. Damn. The Marketeer. Alright. That's interesting information. So, who else am I gonna have to kill? 
Oh, this place actually looks kind of nice. It's like a little town. Anyway, let's find Black Hole Bertie and beat the shit out of him. I'm sure he's the one. Reminds me of Morose. Just a bit. Uh, I'm sure he's the one pulling some of the strings around here. Dash. Hey, could I talk to you for a second? Uh, sure thing, Dash. Maybe not drink so much. Hey there. Word uh, around the spaceport is that you came in on the unreliable. You a new crewmate? <laughs> um, the unreliable is actually my ship. Cut the shit. I know Hawthorne's captain of that ship, and I know you ain't him. You want to try again? I am Zenato. Sorry to tell you, but Hotto's dead. The ship was left to me. I see. Well, this would have been easier with Hawthorne, but I hope that if you're flying his ship, it means you're a freelancer too. Wonder if you can help me. Oh, more jobs. All right. What do you want? I run an outfit for the moving of the uh, less than legal goods. Smugglers. There's a particular piece of cargo needs delivering to a particular individual in the spaceport. Smuggling. Thing is, I don't know where the cargo is right now. The crewmate who handles that is in the clink for getting a little too disorderly in town. Drunk? We've already attracted too much attention. Too risky to visit her myself. That's where you come in. You help us out, I'll give you an equal cut of our pay. Yeah, all right, I'm in. What do you need me to do? Great to hear. First, you need to go meet the crewmate who got herself jailed. Oh. Cassidy Mills is the name. She'll know where the cargo is. All right, I'll go and see Cassidy. Be seeing you. Remember, Cassidy's at the constabulary. She might be a little uh, wary, so be careful. You mean the constab... Uh, anyway. C constabulary, is that? Nah. Hello, guy. Am I going to shoot you right here, or are we going to talk? What do you want? Kill you. You're Black Hole Buddy, right? Shh, not so loud. You're Black Hole... How'd you know it was me? Uh... I... I... Uh, your name is right there? I'm an inspector, and a pretty damn good one. Yeah, that makes sense. You must be a good one to sniff me out. I'm in no mood to sign autographs, and I hate disappointing fans. So I'm lying low. You know, incompleto. That's not... incognito. You stupid. Oh, yeah, I guess it's kind of neato. What does it matter? <laughs> Helen's good. gone. She's gone and nothing I do will bring her back. I've been trying to find who did this. Hmm? That's what she would do. Track down the killer and bring them to justice. But I'm stumped. And not very clever. Being bright was always Helen's thing. Uh, okay. Maybe I can help. I was, after all, hired to solve Helen's murder. Oh, so you're the inspector. Y Hope you yeah. have more luck figuring things out than me. I said that. You probably want to ask me some questions, huh? I'm sure you're asking everybody questions, so you can find Helen's killer. So, uh, how do I help? I was kind of suspecting you... ...from before. Hmm. Would you like to explain why you smashed up your picnic with Helen? Oh, the picnic. Right. I get real mad sometimes. Ugly mad. Something I've been working on, but when Helen said we were through, I... I lost it. Did you kill her? Did you hurt her? No. Uh. Hmm. Hey, I get it. Sometimes a person makes you angry, and you gotta make them understand. Are you saying... Come on, come on. You really think I had something to do with her death? Flare up. Come Is on. that what you're saying to me right now? Yeah. Because if you think I'd... I think... Deep breaths, Birdie. Oh. In and out. Deep breaths. You just shoot you. Helen is... Was the love of my life. She was really someone special. 
I'd have done anything for her. Anything. Like kill? So where were you when she was murdered? I was getting blotto with the rest of the rangers. So Buddy was getting blotto? Uh, what? You know, soaked. I actually got it. Muddled. Preserved. I think he means drunk. Yeah. The team noticed I was in a bad way when I got back to the hotel. When I told them Helen and I were Splitsville, they wanted to cheer me up. We were up the pole of four evening. The hotel staff said we was bothering the other guests on account of all the crying and yelling and practice body tackling. Zeke said we should move elsewhere, get some air. That's probably a good call. We ended up at the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. I think somebody wanted to pet a woolly cow? There was this one cow off away from the others. Zeke figured it'd be a laugh to get her drunk. One thing led to another, and I think we might have maybe, you know, stolen her. Alright. What did you steal a cow for? I don't know. We were drunk. And we made bad choices. She was all alone. Uh, I know how that feels now. It's so hard to be all by your lonesome. My memory's a little muddled after that. I guess me and the team got split up, because I know I was on my own at the pilot house for a time. Hmm. Could anyone from the pilot house back that up? Mm, I reckon not. See, I went to the weather station. I was looking for where Helen stashed her data pad for safekeeping, right? Hmm. She'd asked me to get it, mind. I wasn't stealing. I'm no thief. So basically, you're telling me that Helen dumped you, then asked you for a favor? Nah, she sent a note to my hotel room before we, you know, split. I don't know how long it was sitting there before I noticed. Hmm. Alright, so the data pad, did you find it? Sure did. Only there was a guard out there who found me. She started yelling about how I was trespassing and in serious trouble. Thing is... It was real dark out there. So dark, she couldn't tell who I was. I couldn't tell who you was. I've never seen your face before. You really sure this god couldn't ID you? Real sure. It was dark as night gets. Plus, I've got small veins. What? Anyway, I didn't much feel like trying to explain why I was out there, or what? why I was drunk, and holding someone else's data pad, and also maybe crying a little. So I booked it. Ran like the Rangers were down by three, and I just bronzed the toss ball in the Friday zone. Oh, totally. Yeah, uh, sport ball. Uh, hmm. Did anyone else see you that night? Think hard. Anyone. Anywhere else. Yeah, um, I mean, no. No? Nope. No one else. Oh, someone, huh? Come on, buddy boy. Who was it? I don't want to tell you. I'll get in trouble. Who was she? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ooh. What do you think, Pavari? Offer a little good inspector, bad inspector? <laughs> uh, good one, Captain. Yeah. Oh, you're serious. Y you want me to be the bad inspector? Are you sure? No, no, I'm, I'm the bad guy. I, I, uh... Come on, you can do this. Just pretend you're a... S serial hero... Serial hero shaking down a dissident. Oh! Oh, you mean like an Against the Outlaw Kings? There's this scene where Agent Khan grabs a fella by the collar and really gives him what for. Yeah. Oh, yeah! That's a pretty intense scene. Grab him by the collar. All right, you can do this, Parvati. Just do what Agent Khan would do. Yeah. Now you listen here, Birdie. You've been giving us the runabout, and I don't much appreciate it. Miss Helen's killer is still out there, and we got every intention of hunting him down. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Whoa, you're... You're not going to do the part where Agent Khan pulls a pistol on the suspect, right? She has a heavy-ass automatic. Uh, continue, Pavari. You'd best tell us what you know. Because if any more innocent people die, that's gonna be on you. You understand me? Wait, more folks could die? You're joking. Well, I had no idea this was so big. Oh, he's not smart. Is that too much? No, 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 it was perfect. It's a matter of other folks' lives, then. 
Look, I talked to Orc, okay? What? Not Orc much. West. What the? Hangs out around the spaceport. He's the one who taught me the uh, breathing exercises I used to calm down. All right. Thanks. I'll follow up with uh, Orc. That sounds like Orc? a good idea. So now you have the whole story. After I talked to Orc, I went back to the hotel. All right. Woke up the next morning with Helen's data pad in my hand and the hangover to end all hangovers. I don't know if I'll ever drink again. Sure, sure. I've never heard that before. Any advice for next time, Ellie? A shot of Spectrum mixed in a Gigantor energy drink first thing in the morning. Works like a charm. I think that probably counts as drinking, but thanks, ma'am. Anyway, uh, you hey. ought to take Helen's data pad. Maybe you'll have better luck understanding her notes. Either she was writing in code, or I'm dumber than a bag of hammers. You are. I tried for hours to crack her notes, but it's like I said. Being bright was Helen's thing. Alright, I'll take a look at them, uh, like old buddy. Okay. And listen, uh... Huh? I want to help you find our killer inspector. I knew Helen better than anybody. And it'd be handy to have a guy like me around. In case anybody gives you trouble. Uh, n n no, um... Uh, I can't let a suspect be part of the investigation, buddy. I get it. Yeah. I'll head back to the Grand Colonial then. Unless you need me for anything else? No, 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 no. You're free to go. That was nice acting, Parvati. Oh. oh, he's right over there. Huh. Are you. You're alright. Buy a bunk, huh? Oh. I think I'll stick to my cabin. Thanks. Hey, pal. Over here. You sure you want to talk to me? Hey there. You're looking to unwind, friend? Maybe you're on your way to the bar for a good time? I came from the bar. Maybe you're interested in something a little better than beer or adreno? Something with a little more kick? And kick you? Uh, maybe I am. Then maybe I'm your guy. Maybe. The name's Auric. I deal in, shall we say, holistic pharmaceuticals. Yeah, drugs. Natural substances and the like. Drugs. You know, alternative stuff. Hey, I drugs. know, I know. Ooh, it came out of the ground. That's where worms live. <laughs> I get it. I do. Yeah. Why go for that homegrown shit when you could be pumping your body full of effort accelerators? Says it right on the anti Cleo's box. Better than nature, right? Uh. Well, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, pal. Those pharmaceuticals the corporations manufacture? Not all of them are as good for you as the board wants you to believe. I don't believe they're any good at all, really. But it kind of sounds uh, medically inaccurate. Alternatives. That's the way to go, pal. Trust me. No matter what ails you, I got what you need. All right. Uh... Wait, what? Bertie Hol... Black Hole Bertie is Bertie Holcombs? Uh, okay. I'd like to ask you some questions about Bertie Holcomb. Wait. You ain't a sheriff, right? You gotta tell me if you're a sheriff. Uh... I'm a freelance inspector. Uh, brought in to investigate the death of Halcyon Helen. I'll be honest, I don't really know where that puts us. Well, I'll tell you, if you shut up. I'm not here to bring you into trouble, I just want to talk. Alright, alright, fine. Yeah, I know, Birdie. So what? Was Birdie with you the night Halcyon Helen was killed? Yeah, damn shame about that. Bertie thought the world of Helen, you know. He showed up drunk at my place wanting to talk about the breakup. Helen dumped him, he said. Boy, was he in a bad way. I'd never seen him like that before. We talked for a while, and when he felt better, I sent him back to the hotel. Told him to drink more water and get some sleep. Really? I heard you taught uh, Bertie some breathing techniques. Yeah, that was me. Bertie's got a temper, but he's not a bad kid, you know? He's trying to work on it. Alright, so how do you know Bertie? 
You may or may not buy alternatives from me from time to time. A little diluted mantis or essence here, a little vitamin B negative there. Ooh. So, Black Hole Birdie has a substance problem, eh? Nah. What Birdie's got is a stress problem. He's stressed out of his mind, the poor guy. Everyone knows his name. Can't turn around without having to sign an autograph. Then you throw in playing tossed ball for a living. Violence like that, it does things to a body. It does things to the head. Yeah. I want to be tossed ball, does things to the head. Come on. Birdie's a damn good hacker. Hmm? Taking that many blows to the noggin would scramble anyone's upstairs business. I know it's knocked a few of his memories loose. I worry about him, that's all. He's a good kid. Got a good heart. All right, well, bye. Well, I got a full report now. I guess I could uh, head back to Ad to uh, Ludovico. If I were the killer, I'd hide the body in one of those. Yes. Crates. No one would find it. I for should years. head to the constab constab constabulary. Constabulary. <laughs> Mike? Hello? Are you... Uh, can exactly not see your face. Hello? Don't think I know you. What do you want? I'm here for... the job. Yeah. Don't think I don't recognize a slug agent when I see one. Shove off! Ah. Uh, well? Alright. Um, was that my outfit or what? I don't look like a slug agent. What are you talking about? Oh, it's you again. Yeah. Uh oh. Okay, I probably have to. Wear disguise. Um, come back to her later then. Let's return to Ludovico. Have a little chat with him. Back at the hotel. Oh, that was far down. I'm kind of surprised I haven't fallen off this place yet. Kind of sounds like something stupid I would do. The oh! Uh... You don't see this? What the... Yeah. Now you see it. First one go. God damn it. Oh, there's rum and something. Man, security in this place is worthless. They are transforming into worm people. Disgust, disgusting worm people. I guess that's the needler. I do want that. We should try to solve the puzzle head in the orchard. What floor would you like to visit? My floor. Next stop, the finest seat in the house. It better be. Dum dum dum. dum. Ludovico. Inspector. Ludovico. Now oh, wait, what, what was that? Uh, Ludo. God damn, I forgot. I managed to track down a black hole, Bertie. I'm pleased to hear that. Bertie Holcomb is a valuable yeah, asset Holcomb. to the Rizzo's Rangers property. When Helen was murdered, Bertie was nowhere to be found. The timing of his disappearance is unfortunate. Hmm. Bertie is somewhat of a character, but he is harmless. I feel a little bad for him, though. Try not to feel too bad for him. Birdie is a brilliant athlete. 
The universe has balanced his talent by making him a slack wit. Ah. Uh, go ease on him, buddy. He just lost the love of, love of his life. I don't understand what it was that Helen saw in Bertie. Whatever it was, she seemed to trust him implicitly. He was always on his best behavior around her. Or he tried. I'm not a heartless man, Inspector. I know that losing Helen must have shaken Bertie to his core. Be plain with me, Inspector. Do you believe Black Hole Bertie killed Helen? Actually... Hmm. I really don't. Ah, I'm relieved to hear that. I happen to be something of a fan of the hack attack. I'd hate to see him processed for murder, but we need to be absolutely sure. I'd like you to continue your investigation. Notify me as soon as you're ready to make a formal accusation. But now what? Uh, uh, Bertie did, by the way, agree to stay at the Grand Colonial. I appreciate that. I'd rather keep Bertie within the public eye than let him languish in a bar at the docks. If you're through investigating Bertie, huh. I recommend looking into Cedric Kincannon. He's been entirely too comfortable since we began this investigation. I don't trust Cedric when he's comfortable. All right. I'll see you. So I'm tracking down Cedric. Well, I guess there's something to do next time. I'm gonna chill here at my room. Have a good night.